Hi, it's Guy DiMartino with my one minute estate planning tip. I received a phone call from somebody the other day, somebody that I knew actually, and this is how the phone call went. She said, Guy, somebody in my family recently passed away and they had a will and in their will they wanted me to be the personal representative or the executor or the administrator of the will. And she said, you know, my life is so full. I have two kids going to college. I have two kids at home. I work full time. I'm taking care of my husband. I'm taking care of my mother. I have all these things going on. I don't want to be the personal representative. Do I have to be this person's personal representative because I was named in the will? And I said, no, you can decline. Most wills will go ahead and have contingent and alternate personal representative designation. So if you were the primary personal representative, then uh, there will be a secondary or an alternate in most will situations. Even if you were just the alternate and the personal representative that was named before had already passed away, that's okay. There's many of other folks that can qualify to be personal representatives. If there's not a family member that can qualify, you can go out and hire a lawyer in the area and he or she will qualify to administer the estate. You do not have to feel handcuffed. You do not have to uh, become the personal representative and take on all that stress because things need to be done timely when you're a personal representative. And if you have too much going on, maybe it would be best for the heirs and best for you and best for the estate to just say, I'm sorry, I cannot do it. If you have any questions about an Indiana state matter, or if you like this content, please subscribe and or like. It, until the next time, I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.